be highly favored if you're tearing somebody down. You cannot have highly favored. God can't put trust in you if you can't build my brother up. I know my brother been through some things and I know my sister been through some things. But my job is not to tear him down. The devil is all right at trying to tear him down every chance you get. It's my, my job to tear him down. And I want you to understand something that when you begin to understand the presence and the power of God and the reason why the devil don't want you to work in that authority because what happens is you got folks that want to keep you tied up and tangled up so you can never leave of the great things of life you can never be able to get what you want God to do in your life you're never and Paul began to say I want to know you in the power of your resurrection because I have these same folk that look like they go to church that sound like they're church and not only that they carry the holy word and as they carry the holy word they just talk it but yet though they hate me but I need your power Yet though they slay me with the words, I need your power. Yet though they raise tongues up against you, I need your power. To love my enemy. And I will love the hell out of my enemy. Because they don't have no power over me. They don't have no jurisdiction over me. When you've been called and appointed and anointed, you can speak those things as though they were. And you ain't going to be one-sided this way and one-sided that way. You ain't going to be neutral. You ain't going to be sitting there trying to figure out whose side you could be on. You standing for Christ irregardless of what. I want power. I want power when the wind begins to blow. I want the assurance of Christ that he's going to be there. I, when the water begin to raise up, I want that God is on my side. When the tongues begin to raise up, I want God on my side. And a lot of us dealing with cell phone pressure. Cell phone pressure. Text is that change in your life where you can turn around and delete the crap and keep going on. What you text me, I don't care. What you feel about it, that's your baggage. But I want to tell you, I'm going to worship and I'm going to praise God and I'm going to pray to God that he bless you. Kind of hard praying for your enemy, right? I'm just keeping it real, isn't it? But I want you to understand something. When you start praying for them, when you stay in prayer for them, he's just moving you to the next destination. Give me a push, please. Thank you. Give me another push, please. Give me another push, please. Give me another push, please. That push hurt that time, but give me some more. Yeah, but keep on pushing me. Just keep just giving me some more. Just push me into my destiny. When you push me into my destiny, little become much when you place it in the master's hand. You look to your left and say, I didn't know I had all of that. You look to your right, I didn't know I had all of that. But you don't push me where God want me to be. You don't push me into a level. You don't push me to an understanding. You don't push me to a place where God is getting ready to use me. God is getting ready. God done trust me with this small thing. Look out, big things are coming. I could be able to speak to those things as though they were. I'm not sitting there all tied up and tangled up what you text me yesterday. Yesterday is gone. I'm in a new day. What you text me and talking about I'm this and I'm that. My God, I love you and disconnect the phone and change the number. No longer answer that call because why? I am a new creature. I'm no longer conformed to the things of this world I'm conformed to the things that I can speak those things as though I were as though they were